the one cob which I ate my bought this morning. It's quite well seized up, but I think it'll free off. I've never actually seen an adjustable like this. It's certainly an interesting one. It's got the letters B and C right on there. I'll try and de-rust it and get it cleaned up. It, it's, it's quite lightweight, the hollow handle, it's interesting. Anyway, I couldn't leave it lying where it was because I could see it was just going to... Nobody wanted it. So John had to buy it. It was only a pound. Right, the next thing we want is this side machining down. That'll be a bit that goes in the chuck or in the centre on the dividing head. I could just take it out of the chuck and reverse it around. But the best way to do it is to machine it all in one setting. The best way would have been to machine it between centres. But if I put my centre back in there and machine the, the back of that off, just leaving a, a decent sized bit, it should work out quite nice. I'm going to machine this by hand, just get it down to the point where I can get a, a left and a right hand knife tool in to finish the edges off. Basically it will part this off now and I'll set it up in the four jaw chuck and send I drill that in. Right, we're gonna part it off. We've got the carriage locked up. Gently, gently feed into it. Once it starts cut we try and keep the pressure on. got the mounting mounted in the four jaw chuck as you can see. I've also got some nice aluminium jaw protectors in just so we're doing damage to the face. It's running out so I'll put a clock here John and see if we can get it running nice and true. I like to put the clock here on the side, some people put it on the top, but on the side you get a direct reading. But what we're looking for, or what we are doing, I find a high point, which is there, and tighten that jaw. Using the opposite one. Tighten. And then we're getting nearer. High point again, which is still this one. It's getting the error. 
That's a high point, still that one. All I need to do is face it, centre drill it, and just put a little shampoo on there. Get a centre hole in both ends. And by using the aluminium draw protectors, we haven't damaged anything, these are quite handy. And bend them so they don't fall off. Okay, we're in the gears quarter, that's a quarter inch drill. I think what I may do instead of putting the kiwi in, I may just drill it and put a quarter peg in. All it's got to do is locate the gear while it's been indexed. Drill it and just put a quarter inch down with that bit of silver steel in there, and that'll line up perfectly into that slot. Right, I've decided to put a quarter, just a quarter pin in there to locate the gear. I'm going to drill it in the V block. The idea way to mount it and drill it that way, but for the camera to see, I'll mount it and drill it that way. The first thing we need to do is make sure the V block is running in line with the table. The easiest way to do it, I've got a bit of key steel here, it's a good fit in the slot on the table. That goes in there and you simply put your V-block up against it, just straight away that's running parallel with the table, you haven't got to worry about it. We'll put a clamp on there, then all we've got to worry about is finding the centre. There we've got V-blocks touching the key steel. That's got a good hold. All I'm going to do is drill a hole so that's more than sufficient. 
Next thing is to find the centre of that. I've got an electronic edge finder here. Actually bought it at a car boot sale. It didn't work and my friend Bob actually put a new LED light in there. It's got a battery in it. This part here is positive and I think the little balls are earth. And when it touches, the second it touches the light comes on. You obviously you're doing revolver when you're using this. It's a little spring loaded ball. So as soon as that makes contact the light comes on. I've never used it before so we'll, we'll give it a try. We're on centre heat which is about there. Right, I've got the edge finder and the DRO in shot so we should be able to wind it out gently till it touches and the light comes on. There. Right, we'll zero that axis. We'll do it again just to make sure we're That's it there. To within a hundredth of a millimetre. Once more. Right. So it's repeating its accuracy. So we'll zero that there. Go down to the other side. On the centre it again. When you're the end, the light comes on again. Do it once more. Exactly the same reading, 31.365. We'll do it once more just to make sure. That's it there, 31.365. So if I half that reading, that will give a true centre. A lot of the modern day areas have got a, a facility on where you can just half them, this one hasn't. So I want half of 31.365. Right, so that's 15.68. Fifteen, sixteen, fifteen point. Right, fifteen point six eight five. Right, so that should be spot on in the middle and lock the access up if you look at it you can see it is right in the middle I've got a quarter milling cut I set up in a collet we'll use that to put the hole in a lot more accurate than a drill so I've locked the quill off and we'll use the table to feed it Right, I've cheated a little bit here. I've drilled the, the hole with a quarter milling cutter. And I've cut the end off a quarter drill, which is a really good fit in there. So that goes into there. And my gear slides on. And that is a really, really good fit in there. So what I'll do, I'll clean this up and I'll just glue it in with a little bit of Loctite and that'll be the that'll be it done. A bit of solvent. Just 
proper Loctite, it doesn't take much. That goes into there. Oh, you bastard, you. You know, if you wanted to blow that over there. Right. We'll put the log tape in the hole this time. We'll keep it held in while I blow the excess. Splendid. Just make sure our gear still goes on. Which it does, that's excellent, there's no play there at all. It's a bit of a cheat not putting the kiwi in, but for what it's got to do, it'll be perfectly adequate. Once again, I'd like to say thanks to everybody who supports me channel, who clicks the like button, everybody that watches it. And once again, a special thanks for all the well wishes that are still coming in from all over the world towards uh, Deb's my wife. It has made a massive difference. I'm sure it, it lifts our spirits up. It certainly makes me feel better. Um, thanks very much. Oh, you bastard, you. You know, if you wanted to blow that over there,